What's going on guys? This is your boy Nanim Found with another video. This is the continuation of my uh, full coverage of the episode 43 Dark Nights uh, that will be released uh, literally in two days since I'm filming this video. In this video we are taking a look on the new alley that will be introduced with the new DLC and every single aspect that you must know about this alley so like for example the animations as active uh, combat ability and also the passives and also uh, my final thoughts about alley Without further ado, let's jump immediately on opening our uh, precious inventory, pressing I on your keyboard on for your controller, guys, um, and highlighting the new alley that's called Dead Metal Batman. Dead Metal Batman, that's uh, a legendary one, and uh, like uh, every other single legendary, we need the most amount of experience, but we are taking a look later on the spreadsheet about uh, everything else. So, um, summon the dead metal Batman to aid you in combat. So, we have basically one active combat ability and then two passives as every other single legendary um, ally. Um, the first one is called the dead metal guitar attack and it's a combat ability. It's the, uh, the active one when you place him on the first place on your uh, allies. And the AoE damage guitar playing uh, that plays all the three debuff for X seconds, then switch to uh, a cone attack with the guitar side that deals uh, apt, uh, apt damage. So, this is a kind of ally that uh, um, specifically, uh, specifically uh, pointing and referring to all the kind of power set uh, as a, a troll, as a second roll. So, kind of a power set like light, uh, um, gadgets, uh, quantum, mental, and so on because you can get uh, benefits from your uh, debuff. The second one, it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, the, it's the first uh, passive ability, and it's called Black Lantern Energy Steel. Every X second using a super, uh, um, super power debuff plays a pool that gives you a power regeneration. And also, every X second, upon killing a target, you, will, uh, you and three allies with the lowest HP get healed for a percent of HP. This is wonderful for uh, to play an alert for example the last one and it's one of the most important one it's uh, the clock of azure every x second up, upon rolling the town to player and they give six stacks of might and the precision buff and a percent of damage mitigation shield each time the player is it or does damage remove a stack the first time that, that i have seen this uh this passive guys i was uh, a little bit shocked because I said uh, uh, this is OP, but we will see that it's not, guys, because uh, um, it's not practice to activate this one, but we are taking a look later. So, um, now, guys, we, we can jump exactly on uh, every single uh, every single abilities of uh, the Ali, starting with, uh, first of all, with the animation of the active uh, combat um, skill and then with the passive one okay guys so first of all let's take a look on the animation on about the uh, active combat uh, ability so as you can see i have uh, i have put the in as my uh, my combat ally so at the moment uh, it will be uh, it it will be active as uh, the, the active skill and as you notice the guys at the moment is say tbd just because on the test server they need to uh, update basically uh, the, the text of uh, the alley and also on the abilities they have to update the, the icon for uh, the passive but uh, i'm pretty sure they they will do before the dlc will be released so let's take the the aggro of those let's enter in in in, in combat and let's activate him they've made a grave mistake this is a uh, all the three debuff plus the AoE damage. The animation is pretty cool, by the way, guys. I don't want to lie. The animation is uh, is uh, is pretty cool, and we have some pro and contras about uh, this one. So, if you notice that the um, if you notice that the uh, the spawning animation, it's um, it's quite slow. If you consider that um, in um, in a real scenario, when the tank is taking the aggro of uh, um, 
of the ads uh, or just uh, about the boss, but it's mainly for the AOE, so we're talking about ads. Um, is basically losing a lot of time just just because the first is is gonna sing song with uh, with uh, the gider applying the uh, all the three debuff and then doing uh, a massive damage as AOE damage with uh, with the gider. If we can compare this one with another ally, for example, uh, the the best example that I can. Uh, I can show you guys it's just with the, uh, with Harley Quinn, for example. Um, if you notice, if you notice the the animation time, it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty pretty slow uh, compared to uh, another Ali because uh, most of the time people are are this one. Let me the room. There we go. So not getting the void gazer doing damage and uh, taking the aggro and activate the Alice. So, as you can see, it's just a first hit, and then it's just a damage over time. That's gonna apply a damage over time. So, uh, if you notice that the guys, the uh, the timing about doing, uh, about uh, being active and doing damage, it's just a little bit delayed with the, the new alias, for the simple reason that you have to play animation. I have no, I'm pretty sure, guys, that uh, in this, uh, um, those kind of animation uh, aren't, uh, aren't that fast in a real scenario like a raid because most of the time um let's say that um uh, people are just uh, killing uh, the ads so quickly maybe procking, uh, uh, procking the supercharges maybe, uh, a gemini proc and other stuff like that so this isn't the fastest one to be completely honest with you that was the um, the first ability, guys, uh, but uh, stay tuned because the other two uh, passive abilities are uh, literally interesting to see. Okay, guys, the first uh, passive that we, we want to take a look, uh, opening our uh, inventory, uh, it's just the Black Lantern Energy Steel. So, once again, every X second when using a, a, a debuff, so it have to be a debuff, so that, that means you must be on troll roll, um, we are getting a, um, a bonus power re regeneration by a, a pool. And also, when we kill someone, me and the other three allies with the lowest HP get killed for a percent. So, I'm, I'm not showing you guys uh, exactly like that, because um, as abilities, so you are uh, switching the abilities, uh, it's missing uh, the text. So, we can take a look. Uh, we can take a look on what we are doing. So... We uh, enabled this one, so Black Lantern Energy Steel. And if we will take some damage, because we have to take some damage in order uh, in order to get some heal. So as you notice, I am in a troll roll at the moment, guys. I'm taking some damage, and then I'm activating my thing. So as you can see, there is uh, the pool. On the ground, guys, uh, that I'm getting some uh, um, some power back. It is a black animation. That's uh, uh, that's pretty cool. And then the other passive, it's just uh, as you can see, I'm getting 43k uh, of yell uh, back just because um, one ad died. So basically, this is a kind of yell that's split. Um, well, it's not a split, so it's proking for me and for other uh, three uh, group group of members with the lowest amount of HP. So, um, this will work with every single uh, debuff. So, in this case, uh, as you notice, the guys, uh, I am using the Whip Trash that has a uh, controller role reduced the enemy defense, uh, but works with every single uh, debuff. So, so uh, with the, the defense debuff, with damage debuff, and also with the heal buff. So, works with the everything. I want to take a look once again, I'm taking some damage. There we go. I'll take the damage. Then I will activate my um, my debuff, the most important one. And then it's spawning basically the pool once again to get the power. And I'm getting my heal back, as you know. It was so fast, guys. I have no idea if you have seen this one, but that was so pretty damn fast. But what happened, guys, if I'm keeping my um, passive, the same one that we just uh, seen, 
and just uh, just switching as a DPS role. So be clear, I'm keeping my support ability, Black Lantern Energy Steel, that we have already seen um, ready. And then I'm just switching my uh, my uh, my role. So nothing will happen, guys, because it will work for both of this one. So the first and the second. So taking some damage. Wanna the first one that will will proc it will be the the, the black pool that will give me uh, power. No. Damage. Um, we go and starting my rotation with whip whip thrash that's a defense debuff. And then I I am getting my yield. Same. But nothing will change. It will be literally the same no matter which is your role. Okay, guys. So speaking about the second. Um, passive of our ally so taking a look um, and pressing i once again it's called once again the clock of erasure and every x second upon rolling because rolling is uh, um is basically the key action to activate uh, this passive the taunt player this is a key word guys the taunt so basically if you have the aggro it will the taunt so the enemy will prefer to attack someone else or maybe your pet and also give uh, give six stacks of might and the precision buff and the percent of damage mi mitigation shield as well each time the player is hit or does damage on and remove a stack. So this is basically a mechanic to maintain just for a couple of seconds the buff because if the player is gonna do damage, it's losing stack, and also if it's uh, hit by an, an, an attack by uh, the enemy, it's gonna lose the stacks anyway. So. Pay attention on my um, on my body, guys, because when I, I when I block and roll away, I will be basically surrounded by many bats. And also, I want to show you before my stats. It's might at the moment is one four one nine nine two. So I'm getting close to some ads here without attacking and without nothing. So at the moment, as you can see, is pointing me, and I'm just block and rolling away. And here is the animation of the bats. And if I press the stats, as you can see, oh, wasn't working properly. Once again, um, there we go. And smite is one uh, one five two two eight one. So if you notice, that now the aggro is rolled by the robot side. So he's not considering me anymore. He's basically arguing with my pet. As you can see, this is an in interesting mechanic, guys, that happen every uh, X seconds. Um, so show you once again, it's my, it's one, once again, it's one for one. And then I'm moving, I'm taking other, uh, other targets, for example. And here, without doing nothing, um, blocking and rolling away, protect shields, uh, and also the buff of might, as you can see. This isn't in combat. Um, let me take a Cola and, and block and rolling away. To proc. There we go. Here's the proc. I'm getting the shield also. And he's getting the aggro. See, guys? He's getting the aggro of both of them before. Because previously, uh, one of them was a focus of me. And now he's gonna back just because the effect will end. This is a pretty interesting one, guys. It's a pretty interesting mechanics. There we go. And it's broken, but it's too late. So you you uh, got the point. I'm pretty sure that you got the point with the might buff as well. So might uh, and that that's happening for might uh, as precision and uh, and so on. That's a pretty interesting one. Okay, guys, uh, it's time to take a look on the spreadsheet that was, uh, once again, was um, given to me by uh, by my dear friend, Obsidian Chill, and always thank you, my dear, as always. I'm taking a look on the spreadsheet, starting from the XP 
and uh, the, the catalyst that we need them. So, like we said, this is a legendary ally, guys. So, we already know that the entire amount of uh, ally favor required is uh, 300 and, uh, and, and K with uh, um, a maximum of 272 catalysts required, split in 1, then 13, 92, and 67 as a uh, legendary one. So, this is a uh, expensive but we already know that just because the legendary allies have two uh two passives uh, they are the most expensive one speaking uh, about um the aoe damage guys um, so once again this one was uh those tests were done with uh, as a combat rating at 300 and, and, and 39 so we have a 10 level as usual and uh, every single rank we have an increase of damage it's around 25 percent something like that uh, maybe 20 percent uh, until we reach uh, basically uh, as aoe da uh, damage um, as 255 k with the maximum of, of five it's on five target so once again at combat rating uh, 339 this is exactly what he tested. Speaking about the single target damage, we have um, we have a comparing between Harley uh, Harley Queen and also Dark Metal Batman. Don't forget, guys, that as we have seen on the animation, um, so the animation time require um, require a couple of seconds to trigger first the debuff and then the AOE attack. So that was a test on Flashpoint Gotham on, Doom, on Doomsday single target because we are actually talking about single target damage and was as a combat rating 339 which it's uh, each single uh, which uh, sing, each single um, uh, star level so that, that means each single level so starting from level 1 to level 10 and the damage that uh, this one did on on Doomsday on Flashpoint was just 425k.843 with just one hit. So that means applying all the debuff plus the AoE damage done with the, the Gitter. But the discussion is different um, if we are talking uh, about uh, Bombshell Harley Quinn because you already know, guys, how she attacks. She is basically doing... Uh, a first, uh, a first tick of damage and then an AOE damage. So it's basically damage over time with just one tick. So, and uh, the uh, final, um, so the parcel damage was 360k for one, uh, uh, for one zero. This is something uh, to keep in mind, guys, just because the uh, mechanic of uh, this, uh, um, of this uh, alias is... Uh, a little bit different compared to the other one just because for the time that you need to charge the two attacks the, the, the buff and then the AOE damage speaking about the damage uh, the buff uh, test guys um, so uh, chill have uh, calculated this one um, because he switched as uh, um, as uh, as uh, as, uh, as gadgets and that was uh, basically uh, tested with uh, with the fear gas that we have different kind of uh, power Direction, like you know so every every single thing it will stack so the basically um the, the baseline fear gas will uh, will apply um of course um a, a debuff and it will scale accordingly on which kind of other debuff you you will do so fear gas plus the regular uh, defense buff um, so it's create not non create and you will uh, you will get a percent of increased damage of 33 percent and so on uh, fear gas plus the amulet of row just in case if you are in control roll so uh, so basically uh, the amulet of, uh, of row the buff with the fear gas at rank uh, 200 that was tested with basically 150 uh, 50 155 k of, of might you will get 41 um, percent and then and so on especially if you apply other uh, other kind of the buff this is something to uh, to uh, to keep in mind, guys, just because for the simple reason that uh, uh, the damage will scale according on how many debuff you will get inside your target. 
Okay, so if you wanna know my final thoughts about this alley, guys, uh, worth to uh, level up, uh, yes or no, because I'm pretty sure that this will be a question that people will ask me uh, in the near future on my live stream and also on uh, on Discord. I wanna say yes and no. Yes, uh, if you have spare experience and spare um, catalyst. Um, so of course you don't have to burn your pocket uh, no just because uh, um, the the most useful uh, the most useful passive uh, as a as a controller it's just uh, it's just the second one guys and to be completely honest with you uh, proking this passive isn't uh, isn't something that you can do easily and it's something that doesn't match uh, um, a real raid so imagine when you are uh, playing so uh, most of the time every 12 15 seconds you have to block and roll away just uh, to proc uh, uh, the buff i mm, i don't think so so level up only if you have uh, spare uh, spare stuff just uh, just for having fun because like we like we already know we have better uh, better choices uh, for damage doesn't matter if it's a single target on or aoe one and useless to say as um, passive nothing can replace the the batman wolf so once again, um, just level up, um, just if you have just uh, um, free and uh, uh, completely free uh, experience and the catalyst. That's uh, the end, guys, uh, of uh, of this video. Um, stay tuned uh, for video uh, for more videos, guys. Uh, just because the uh, the episode will be released really really soon. But uh, uh, meanwhile, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys to watch uh, this video. Special thanks once again to uh, Obsidian Shield to provide this spreadsheet, so I can explain you exactly uh, everything about this. Uh, um, this alley stay tuned guys and uh, um, don't forget that i'm streaming every single day from monday to uh, friday from 3 p.m to 8 p.m central european time on twitch link is on is on the description below and uh, basically that's it stay tuned for more video guys because i'm uh, i'm gonna do final recap of the full coverage of this uh, beautiful episode that will be interesting to play especially with my new us league thank you so much once again guys and of course, like every other single time, we will see in the next one.